Hello gentlemen, welcome back to the Real Madrid career mode. Now, yes, it is Real Madrid. In the last episode, we finished off with the Dortmund series right there and we have transferred Barry to Real Madrid to see if he can do the treble and restore faith back in Real Madrid with the Champions League. We did win the league with the Bundesliga title right there with Dortmund, but we did fail short to Bayern in the DP Portico Cup. They got revenge right there. And like I said, we are now at Real Madrid. Looking at the team now, though, there's a lot more to improve, especially in the defensive region. But with the suggestions you have thrown out, we will get to them shortly. In the last one as well, we did submit an offer for Musulaya. If I can quickly somehow get it on screen, I don't think I can. It might be. Uh, is it on? Ah, so there it is right there. Just go on to the transfer, but a lot more easier right there. So 135 million has been accepted for Juventus, so even more money as well. And also this Perosa has getting sold right here. Looking at our first game though, we have going against, I believe it is Celta Vigo right there. But before we get into that, let's bring in some more talent so we can improve our defense. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the players that you have suggested and I have also found on the market as well that I think can boost our Real Madrid's defense. The most obvious ones here is Jeremy Fringpa in my eyes and Dumfries. Denzel Dumfries has been unbelievable in real life for Inter Milan. Yes, he is a bit older than Jeremy Franco, but we've got to go a bit realistic. I feel like this man could definitely head his way to Real Madrid in real life. So let's start off with signing Big Denzo, the Dutch fullback. Come on. Radio, so we should be able to secure this deal quite comfortably and bring to the Bernabeu Dick Dumfries. We've got a lot of dollar. We've got 100 mil as it is already, and there will be another 100 mil on top of that when Musalala gets so to Javena. So let's just skip this right here. I'm going to... I might throw in some players actually because we got a bit of dead weight. I think I might just. Oh, actually, nah, I don't think I would do Brazil because that's a good fullback for a good backup right there. So we're just going to go in with money. I'm just going to go 35 million. I think that's pretty fair. Let's see how they say that. You can see as well that Militao got sold from Real Madrid to Bayer Leverkusen. Anyone saw that? Before we get into that, Inter Rep has accepted it. And it looks like we are going to get Dumfries. Happy days. Here we go. So then into the negotiations we go. He is a right wing back, but we can definitely convert to a right back. It should only like take like two weeks, hopefully. Regardless of that, we should uh we'll find some way around it. But yeah, with Militao getting so we want to bring him back. I don't understand why Real Madrid would sell him. Very strange indeed. We did see him in the Bundesliga when we was playing in when we was at Dortmund. Important role 100 percent He'll be a starter for the team, 100 percent Three year contract. Yep. There's one man I hope that can lead this team, and that's Mbappe. I hope he can lead us back to the treble wall, the Champions League. Release clause. I don't really want to give him a release clause, but we'll accept that anyway because we don't want to upset him. We wanted to come to Real Madrid. Wages. He's dropped some wages. I'm going to release the bonus because I reckon we'll get that the clean sheets there. I'm going to give him an extra 10k. Let's do that. He should accept that. Dumfries should be a Real Madrid player. Let's see. And there it is. 83 grand a weekly wage right there. We got rid of the bonus because, like I said, I feel like we could definitely get 20. Clean sheets with some of the signs we will be making in our defensive line. Welcome, Dumfries. We continue on. Real Legend back to the transfer up now. I've seen a lot of suggestions looking at this Mickey Van de Ven as well. So maybe it's a backup centre back. A very good choice there indeed. But we're just going to wait for the question mark to go, which you might see in the next episode. You might not. I'm not too sure. It's about 18 to 20 days, I believe. I'm going to wait out on these on the Euro 3 because I want to wait until Musalada gets sold. Maybe get into the first game, see how this team does. Let's go. So, ladies and gentlemen, just confirmation there that Pedrosa and Musla have so, so we've got a lot of money now. But I'm actually going to get into the first game, like I just mentioned. I just want to see how the team plays out. So, let's get into the pre match conference. It should be a comfortable win against Selby at home, with especially our attack and our midfield. Let's see how we do. Come on. So, here we go then. Question time. Barry's first appearance in Spain and at the Bin about. We believe we could win. I might change up my character as well a little bit, give it a little bit of a fresh new look, Barry. We'll probably do that after this game right here. Like we, we've, we could do all right. Dumfries here being the newest player. Well, actually, Jude and Bappy are brand new players, to be honest. A big buzz around uh, Dumfries as well there, and especially the yeah, boy in Bappy. Always, always linked with Real Madrid. Could be wild. It could be wild indeed. There was Wam Saka supporter trying to figure out. Yeah, I mean Wam Saka just wasn't Real Madrid worthy, was he? Let's be honest. It's a challenge for him to do that because he was on the same overall, a little bit higher. But I think Dumfries naturally could do a lot better than Wam Saka. But there are the questions all about Wam Saka and Dumfries, really. But it is what it is. We get into the lineups. Come on. 
So ladies and gentlemen, this is the team today against RC Celta Vigo today. It's pretty much the team that you saw once I went to Real Madrid. I just want to see what the strongest team possible could do in our first game here as Fernandez as our captain. I could have changed him in captain. He is literally the lowest overall player in this team and he is the captain, which doesn't really mean anything, but you know, he's an experienced player. We're definitely going to keep him as a backup center back or maybe swap him for that band then. Who knows? You never know. But the team is looking unbelievable. The attack, the midfield, Jude Bellum leading the midfield up and Bappi just storming up top. It could be frightening indeed. Looking at several vehicles too though, the standout player for me is definitely Azpaz up top. A very experienced Spanish striker indeed and leading the team as well today. Palacios and Cameron's where I recognise him. Shervy and left mid Ortega and Banez. It's not a bad little team, so Vigo, but can Big Barry get a dub in his first game for Real Madrid at the Bernabeu? I think he can with this team. Let's find out. Come on. So here we have it then. Our first time in La Liga. Real Madrid have arrived. The famous stadium, probably the biggest stadium in the world, I would say. The kings of Europe. The kings of the world, Real Madrid, is falling to the hands of Barry and myself. Can this team go out and do bits? I think they will. Let's go. So here we go, then Mbappe's ticking it off. I did sell giving the number seven. Falling from Ronaldo, Figo, you name it. The greats have had that shirt. Hit run number right there, and it's falling to Mbappe once again. But here we go, Cameron being on the ball. Dumfries, number two now. Getting his first touch of the ball. Jude Bellum, number eight of the team. Can he find Mbappe? Ooh, Mbappe was making the run behind, but Jude could not find him right there. There you go, last pass. Natural, good little block there. Jude Bellum gets it back out. It goes to Vinny. Look at Mbappe. Mbappe's all on his own. Mbappe's through. Mbappe! And that is what you could see in the near future. Killing Mbappe is here. And he has arrived. Number seven, killing Mbappe. Hugged by Vinny, hugged by Jude, hugged by Rodrigo. It's light work right there. Vinny, Rodrigo and Mbappe. What a dangerous trail that would be. And we can see a real nice hit. It's going to be a whitewash all season, I think, with them three. Mbappe makes it 1-0. Come on. So we said we can make it happen. And we have Kylian Mbappe. It makes it 1-0 to Real Madrid. We have started off with Dixie Strong. Maybe I'll have to put the Dixie up to Oma just to give it a little bit more of a chance for me. You never know, but... We'll soon find out in the near future. Camavinga, can he get the challenge? He can. Goes to Rodrigo. Now the new number 10. I thought I'd give him the top of 10 shirt. Vinny, on the ball now. Can't get past the defender into path. That should be yours there. Rudy Gut, easy peasy. Going from Nacho to achieve that down there. Goes to Mendy. Mendy inside. Goes to Mbappe. Mbappe with a bit of space to run to here. Mbappe, can he get the ball into the box? It's going to Rodrigo. Not the best choice ever me, I think. Well done, good header down. Here's a turn Mbappe. Mbappe goes out wide. I can see Jude linger on the back post. It's going to. It's got the Vinny instead. And Vinny. A very unsurprising finish from him. Scores with his head today. I thought I was aiming for Jude Bellin, but it goes to Vinicius Jr. Probably the top five best players in the world football right now, Vinicius. Maybe even top three. Very under the shadow of a Haaland and Mbappe in real life. But what a header that is. A great ball from Mendy and he gets in between the defence. And it's a lovely header down. I wasn't, I was quite surprised actually that he won that. And he's made it 2-0. It's a whitewash at the Bernabeu. Well done. So Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Junior get on the score sheet. We're going to be seeing a lot of that this season. We win the ball back down straight away with Mendy. Natural. Can we get the ball flinged over to Dumfries? We can. Camavinga, can he get the ball flinged though? He can, what a ball that is. Just a little cushion of a pass. And Mendy with not the best pass from himself. One from Nacho. Jewish many. Jude Bellin here, being a bit quiet so far on his debut. Oh, well done, to be fair, he's, he's done all right there actually. It's good to see him being a bit quiet on his debut for Real Madrid. Jewish many, can he find Mendy again? He can. Mendy. Going back to choose many, choose many on the shot here. I went for the power shot, but it did not cut off. And that's pass. It's actually found a gap in behind here. It's gone back to Aspas. pass. They couldn't work across. Our defense is just too strong as it is. Rodrigo. Lovely little play of this. Dumfries on the overlap. Dumfries will get this. Dumfries. This is going to Vinny. Four and short. It's gone to Mbappe though. Mbappe. Oh, he's had a stinker. Mbappe's had a right stinker there. 
We've got Forster there, Mbappe, with an absolute tap in. And he's flinged it over the bar. He's had a shocker. I did not expect that from killing Mbappe. A lot of whistling from the crowd. High expectations from the 95 overall Mbappe. He's had a mare there. Rodrigo. His pass one. Not going to force the pass there. We're just going to keep going with Rodrigo. Goes to Vinny now. Vinny. His pass one. Goes to Jude. Jude Ben on the finesse here. Gets blocked. Unlucky indeed. The Englishman looking for his goal as well. Correct. Plays into Igor Aspas. Goes to clear again. Oh, we just missed. Number two. I'll tell you what though. I was going to say, it looks like Sarah Vegan might try and get one before the break is. A good pass inside. Lovely little play, this. It's a short goal. Oh, a bit fortunate there. And Courtois has to force the save. 51 minutes in. I mean, we've only one out of time. And where the hell's the bloody whistle ref? After the last chance of the half. Here we go here. Well done from Rudiger. And finally, the whistle blows after 52 minutes in the first half. Very convincing. What more do I need to say? We're looking strong. Very strong indeed. Mbappe should have got two goals already, but he absolutely man his second attempt with Vinny with that header as well, making it two. But two new at the break. I'll let you know if I make any changes. Right, ladies and gentlemen, two substitutions here. McKenney comes on to the pitch here, and also Asensio comes on for Rodrigo. Not too shabby indeed. Just looks like we've got a lot of calibre on the bench. Obviously, Camavinga goes off for McKenney. So what he can do on the ball, let's see what the United States man can do. Mendy, Mendy though, well done. Big furlong Mendy. Mendy, still on the ball here, choose many. McKenney on the ball. Little one, two action, look at this, look. Look at this. Dumfries gets across to Box and goes for oh, this another miss. At this time, it's a sense Having a really good season in real life at the moment with Real Madrid, but he pings over the ball on them 11. We're getting close for the third. Unlucky. 56 minutes in now. A lot of whistling from Real Madrid. They're not happy, are they? They're very uh, demanding fans. Fair play to them. It should be yours there. We cannot get it down. Palacios on the ball. Plays it out wide. Still really nice play from Selby. Oh, the ball quite well. Good fortune there. To pass through. Really good. Just really well. Goes on out. Just get it out. A bit dangerous there, but he's actually really well. McKenny plays out wide. To Dumfries. Can we get Dumfries on the ball here now, Mol? We can. And Bappy. Not the best run from him, Bappy. It's been a lot better from him there. Unlucky. It goes back out to Ortega. Sensu does well, but can't keep calling. Unlucky. Looks like Ortega's going off now. Fair enough. Franco Servi. Bit of a weird touch that, but he does well. Chelsea's on the ball. Taps up. There's Larson's a good shot. Goal and Courtois has to pull off a quite an incredible save there. Well done to him indeed. Radio. Out we go here. Asensio. Ooh, that was unlucky. And again. Oh my god, what's happening here? Courtois has to force a save. Well done. This catch is quite comfortable actually. Asensio sends him to the shot. Can we find him back? He's all on his own, but. It doesn't matter when you're his overall. It's definitely going to get another third here. Mbappe! And there it is. He's got his second. Here comes the iconic celebration, perhaps. No. No, it's not. It's just going to get Paddy on the back. And some uh, splash in the can celebration there. But a great ball from Asensio. But it was all in Mbappe, wasn't it? We're going to get Hoover here for Dumfries. He's had a good appearance. I need to speak more about Mbappe. Well done. Come on. Olivier, the 72 overall, comes on for Dumfries. He's had a brilliant game, Dumfries. As Rotea gets on the youngsters onto the pitch here. 3 0 for Barry's first game at Real Madrid. Very comfortable indeed. Blasios plays it down to the wing. We've got a little bit there. Still gets played around here. Chirley. It's a good ball into the mixer. Did not generate enough power to challenge Courtois. We're just going to throw it quickly short here to Mendy. Lovely little play this. Here comes Vinny. Been a bit quiet this game, to be fair, Vinny, but not the best pass there, though. I'll say Vinny's been quiet. I'll say more in the second half. He did score in the first half. There's Vinny being really harsh in there. It's a good play there. Stuart Manny gets the challenge in, but they somehow found a little bit of a gap. We're getting a bit fortunate. And Blast just bottles it. We're going to get no one for Ricardo. The right back in for Stuart Manny. Why not? Let's just get some of the youngsters on so they can get a game under the belt. 
Why the hell not? Really good hand and really good game today. I'll be out on the ball here. In the midfield. McKenny on the ball. Can he get it into Mbappe? He can. Vinny's there here. Can Vinny get his second of the game? Vinny! And it's 4 0. It's 4 0. There was not a challenge in this game at all. And big Vinicius Junior with the baby cradle celebration with Mbappe is easy. Two for Mbappe, two for Vinicius Junior. The two hot prospects in real life are shining for Real Madrid today. What more can you ask from this team at the moment? And we've still got to improve it to make it even stronger. It's going to be frightening. Well done, boys. Come on. So there it is there. 2 nil for Vinicius and 2 nil for Mbappe. Very nice indeed. We could get a fifth here. The player will be due there. Oh, and the rest's gonna not going to allow it. He's not going to allow it. It's 4-0. Doesn't matter. What a start for Barry and the Bernabeu. Looking like a convincing team that can go all the way in this league, in the Cup and in the Champions League. Whatever European trophy or competition we are in, we are going to definitely dominate throughout the whole tournament. Killing back with three attempts and two goals. Right there, very convincing win for Real Madrid against Cel Vigo. They didn't put any threat. Well done to the boys. Well done to Barry on his debut. 4-0, we continue on. Royal ladies and gentlemen, before we get into our second game, we are going to sign some more people here. And we're going to start with Van de Ven here. The people have suggested to comment in to get him, so we're going to get him right here. I think a swap deal with Nacho Fernandez was on the cards here. So we're just going to actually throw this right in here. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to offer... I'm going to offer 17 million on top of that. I think that's a fair deal. You can see, look at our budget, 230 million. It's not even going to dent us. All the people are going to get in it. And there you go, straight away, we have got the man. He's definitely going to be a backup for us. But what a good backup this will be. Welcome. Here we go then. In negotiations. Just going to skip this. Rotational. He knows the business here. Big van de Ven. He knows the crack. Let's get him right here. Three years. Happy days indeed. Boom. We're just going to go really quick on this because we know that we're definitely going to get him right here. A lot more money. Greedy. Greedy little bugger. But it doesn't matter. We're definitely going to pay for it. There is our new backup centre back over Nacho Fernandez. Thank you for your time. But it's time for you to go, my man. Welcome, Big Van de Ven. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try and get back one of the former Remedy players. And that is Edda Militao. We're just going to throw in 90 million. I want him back. I don't understand why Remedy sold him in the first place to buy Leverkusen. And looking at Bayer Leverkusen's team when he was at Dortmund. It wasn't really that good. We're going to accept that 94 million with a 5 million recourse. He's never going to leave the club, but he just wasn't soon Leverkusen. Let's get him back home to the Brennabell. So here we go then. Same bloody cutscene. Can FIFA get some more cutscenes, man, in the next one or wherever it is? EA Sports or wherever it's called the next bloody FIFA. Crucial rule, 100%. He'd be a definite starter. Four years in the bag. Let's get him in. Release clause, all right. Definitely play that for his release clause. Oh, God, I nearly expected one pound a wage. He'll definitely walk out there. I'm going to give him 100. That should be quite convinced for him to come back to Real Madrid. Should be. All right, okay. They want... Well, Jesus Christ, I'm not going to give you that bonus. You're going to be a starter. We're going to give you 125. Let's have that. Have another 20k on top of it. Why not? Go treat yourself, Edda Militao. And there he is. He is back. Militao with his agent are happy with the negotiations. Welcome back to the Bernabeu. The Brazilian centre-back in Edda Militao. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, the last sign-in of this video, and probably the season, until we can maybe get to January, is going to be Cancelo. Had a fall out with Pep Guardiola, and then had a bit of a fall out in Bayern as well, in the Bundesliga. So, can we bring him to the Spanish division in Real Madrid? We're just going to go and whack in 70 million. Straight the bat. It's quite a comfortable budget to set on with 50 million for Real Madrid. If they get accept that, we're going to be a bit more. It's going to be a bit more. Fair enough. I want to get this player in, man. He's a quality player. And I think he's just got a bit of an attitude problem. But hopefully Big Barry can sort that out. Here we go, though. 80 million. There we go with Pep. Let's say we're going to get the Portuguese and left back over Mendy. Mendy will get dropped to the bench. He won't be going nowhere. But Cancelo will be the starter. Already again, negotiations here. Just skip this once again for the fourth, third bloody time. Another one. Crucial row, 100%. He's got a massive wage though, isn't he? That's it. He demands a lot of money, but, you know, Real Madrid, they've got the dollar, so why not? Boom. Have that. Accept it now, my man. It's just like that. 
A high price for Cancelo, but look what we're going to get over him. Crosses for days, pause for days, and a consistent left back that can do everything on the pitch. Welcome, Cancelo. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next game is away this time at the Coliseum Alfonso Perez Stadium against Getafe. As you can see, we're looking decent. We also got a game in hand. That's why we're currently in fifth position under Atletico, Ospina, Espanol, and Barcelona. So we're actually going to skip the pre-match conference here because I don't see the rivalry between these. So let's get into the lineups and see if we can go two and two in this episode. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup today against Getafe away. As you can see, a couple of more changes. Courtois is now the captain for Real Madrid. Now I think it's a suitable leader for him to be there. The goalkeeper normally is a leader in a lot of teams in real life. So I feel like it should land to the Belgium in goal. You can see that Van der Ven gets his first start today at Real Madrid to decide Militao, our newest sign. Just, you know, he's experienced in this team. So, you know, he doesn't need to be eased into it. He just knows the crack already, especially with that overall. So we drop Rudiger out for Van der Ven. You can also see Essential goes in for Rodrigo. Rodrigo was good, but he was a bit quiet considering Bappi and Vinny both got two goals. You know, he's a little bit quiet as well. Cancelo making his debut today for Real Madrid and McKenney just goes in for Camavingas. I did like the look at McKenney when we uh, we played him when we substituted him on. Look at Katafi's team that haven't got an absolute clue of any of their players, probably except Dyer and that Mark Vosic in that centre mid row. But regards to that, pretty comfortable indeed. So let's see if we can go two and two away this time in this episode. Come on. So here we go then. Match day two in the Santander League, the Spanish division. Can Real Madrid go two and two? They should do. Regards to our team, we're just looking so so strong got some wild funky music here we haven't heard this one in the old career most before in getafe not a bad team getafe but once again we should dominate come on so here we go then real madrid in their home colors and all in white and getafe in the all blue colors with a tingy bit of green there bellerman great start from a number eight starting off strong essential can he play it inside he made that really delayed isn't he good pass though inside again to dia oh we found a gap it Oh, the fan is still found a gap here, and Courtois has to force to save. The best chance we've already so far goes to Katafi. Not the start we wanted. Oh, I fell over there. Not good. Still with dangerous test. Miller on the ball. So was it Miller? Oh, I'll tell you what, Katafi started really well, but goes to Vinicius Jr. here. Vinicius Jr., what can he do? Cuts inside. Not going to force it though. Well, from Vinny, just gets that out of our play here. McKenny goes out wide. To Dumfries, Dumfries to Tamori, or Bay back to Jude. Uh, unlucky from Jude, but just tries to bounce past the defenders there. Just oh, trying to open it up for the attackers, just couldn't do so. And here comes to Kathy again here. It's a good play here, but Dumfries is well done. What a look at that for a move from Dumfries. That's what we've got him in. That's what he does in real life, just absolutely quality. What a sign he's going to be for us in the near future. Well done. Good play from Cancelo here. This is why we got Cancelo for. We just kind of get it back over though. Great little one twos there from the whole team. Goes back to Cancelo. Can we try it again with Cancelo here? Nice play this. Cancelo does get pulled down there though. And Baffy does well. Goes to Chewis Many. Chewis Many on the shot here. And it goes wide indeed. We did see Chewis Many with a nice little corker in the Real Madrid against Man City recently in the Champions League and he needed to score an absolute bang and he did that today today unlucky indeed should be able to win that back down as well talking about she was many doesn't do it so it was a Markovic Jude just tries to draw the foul a little bit there but unsuccessful Cancelo does really well now Cancelo draws the foul fantastic there also gives the opposition a yellow card in Bolle Dia there number 22 picks up the first card of the Real Madrid episode and the, the game today goes back to Cancelo Still a goal so far. Jude Bellum gets passed with McKenney here. McKenney, great turn. Can he find Dumfries? He can. Dumfries on the ball here. Can he swing into him? Bappy and Bappy! And again, it's always going to be him. Here it comes. Yay! Boom. The iconic celebration. We finally see it. And what a ball. I did actually want it to go to Vinny. You'll be able to see it all properly here. I wanted to go to Vinny, but it goes to Bappy. What a touch. And on the weak foot. Just slivers it into the bottom left corner. And Real Madrid once again have taken the lead to the title in Mbappe. Well done. So that's three goals in two games for Mbappe. I mean, can we not expect more? I mean, like, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. So will be on this game. A little flick there. 
Look at this look from Real Madrid. Here we go again. Vinny, good touch there. Plays it out wide. And Dumfries get the first time cross. It goes to Jude and just gets defended quite well. But Chris Manny, well, well done. Everyone's just putting a shift today. Jude Benham tried again with the step over movement, but he just unsuccessful again. So I'm quite slow for Real Madrid so far. Jude Benham is. Dumfries really looking like a highlight player though. Van der Veen, well done, helps out Dumfries there. Dumfries now though. Cuts in. Can he get a switch going? He can, it goes to Cancelo. We don't know how good Cancelo is going forward. Uh, it doesn't look it though. Jubelin plays it back out wide to Vinny. Uh, unlucky from Vinicius Jr. there. Mata does really well. But Vinicius tackles him off and stops the Gustafi. Maybe getting one potential last attack. And it's only 1 0 thanks to Kylian Papi. A lovely bit of team play once again has led to Real Madrid 1 0 up before the break. Um, I mean, Drew's been a bit quiet, but I think he'll get into his own. But 1 0 at half time. I'll let you know for me the changes. Really, ladies and gentlemen, only one substitution, and that is McKenny goes off for Kamavinga. We want to keep growing Kamavinga, and we all know in real life Kamavinga is just a way better player than McKenny, isn't he? So that is why he's back in the team now for the second half. Cancelo works inside to Drew Bannon now. What could Drew Bannon do here? Waits for Vinny to make a run, but not the best pass. So like I said, Drew Bannon was not really stepping up so far. Van der Veen, can he cover it here? Oh, he can. He's actually made a big error there. And because of that, I was just about to say they scored from it, but not very good there for Van der Veen. And Diaz should have capitalized and made it one all to Getafe. Very cool. Alrighty, so Van der Ven, a bit sloppy there. Maybe that's where that overall comes in. We need to go up a little bit higher. Dumfries, though, looking at the star player at the moment for Real Madrid. Kamavinga, a nice little ball there to just get a pass. Asensio. Ooh, lovely little play there so far. Goes to Jubenham. Jubenham on the shot. He's looking, he's hungry for his goal for Real Madrid. He can't get it so far. Too many. Ways for Cancer to pull out wide. He does. Kamavinga's linger on the back post and he cannot get up for it. Unlucky. Unlucky indeed. They actually get it out wide. It's still 1 0 though to Real Madrid. How there's not been a second goal, I do not know. Let's play this. Chivalry. Well, if I made the miss, how. Happy. Good head down there. Really in this team to the tax. Could have used Vinny there, but we didn't want to force it. And we just couldn't touch it down there with Cancelo. Unlucky number six. Fails to do so right there. Let's play this. Sensio. Good turn, but not the best, though. Mbappe does well to pressure, though. 70 minutes coming up now. We're still 1 0. We cannot get a cushion on this game. Getafe hitting this quite hard, though. Oh, that's going to be a foul there. That's going to be a foul for Van der Ven. No cards from the female referee there. Thank you very much. It's sloppy from him. He's been a bit iffy. You can see why we got him on rotation. A bit of a dirty foul there from them four. Now Getafe's got a bit of a dangerous opportunity to get the ball into the box. Capitalised. It's a good ball into the box there. It's bouncing. Van der Ven does well, but again loses the ball. Oh, and that's a bad challenge. That is a bad challenge. And Jude Benham has given a yellow card here. Not very good from him as well. For a clean challenge, we are going to get Mendy off for cancer. Just have fresh legs at the back. Jude Benham, we're just trying to shoot the ball there, but he's turning quite quick and we've given away the foul. This is a dangerous opportunity. I'm tempted to get a player on the line. I'm not going to, do I do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a rat. Here we go. Gone for the fake here. It's gone in. Oh. I thought I was going to see a swing that ball in. But it just goes wide. Really good off the Dumfries. That's a bit of a weird one there. I should take a fan to Ben. But we're just going to keep it going. I think the rest of the team can carry him to the victory today. Dumfries works inside to Camavinga. Camavinga with an Ronaldo chop there. Bounces past into midfield. Good play this. Can Vinny find? We can find Vinny. And Vinny Jr's killed the game. What a ball from Jude. What a ball there. We have found Vinny. And we have made it 2-0. That came from nothing. I feel sorry for Katafi because they've been attacking really well. But we just showing the upper class. Fraser for the near with Jude Benham. And Vinicius into the top right hand corner. Well done. Finally a cushion in this game. Here's the Vinny and the Bappy show. Come on. So it's pretty much like Deja Vu from the first game in the Bappy and Vinicius just running the show and just absolutely tearing apart teams in the Liga. 
Edmund Attal sits the player down to his ass. Well done. That's a quarter there, getting involved in the game a little bit. And that's the last time I'll be doing that because that is a honking pass. Right there, we've got a substitution here. Ooh, we've got to watch it with Jude because he could get a red card. We've just got to watch his challenges. Nice guys here. It's a good pass inside. Yeah, good back to Oscar Garcia. Goes for the shot, Van der Beek. Well done. Van der Ven, sorry. A great little challenge there. We're not going to force it with Mbappe. There's no point there. No still play this. Vinny, can he find out why to Dumfries? Dumfries, good hold up play. Really nice hold up play. Wants it down the ring now. Can he find it inside? He cannot find it inside. And it looks like, oh, Kamavinga. Very dirty play in real life. But the ref is just going to bypass it because it is the end of the game and it is a 2 0 win to Real Madrid against Getafe. I don't know why my marriage is still looking the same. I think it'll change it, but also he hasn't saved. But an absolute shocker there. A well done for Real Madrid again. The new era of Barry and Real Madrid's side once again picking up another victory in the second game of this episode. Well done indeed. Jude Bellum, bit iffy, but he got an assist near the end. Uh, Van der Ven was probably the poorest player on the pitch, but he isn't back up. That's why he's there. But 2 0 for Real Madrid. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, the last game of this episode is good against Almina. As you can see, we are top of the league table right here on Gold Rivers with six points. With Valencia as well just behind us, with all four teams actually on six points, where we are just battering people on the Gold Rivers right there. I will say though, I'm going to play this into the Real Madrid crew right now actually, because I feel like it could get a bit, bit stale and I think you might get a bit bored of me battering teams. We are going to play some league games as highlight games, so then we can get into the bigger games of the Champions League or against Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. You get the drill, you get the drift. So let's get into the lineups against Almir and see if we can beat this team on the highlights. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the team today to go in the highlights at the Bernabeu against UD Alamiela today. A lot of changes. Vinicius goes as our vice and captain when big boy Courtois is not in. Lunin goes in goal from the back of goalkeeper right there. Mendy goes to Cancelo. Cabellos goes in that centre mid with the back of centre mid right there. And then Bappi, we're just going to rest him. So, we go Latvia up top and Rodrigo back in the team over Asensio. Just going to rest in Bappi a little bit because we're going to be fresh for some of the bigger games right here. Looking at Almir's team though, I recognise probably one player from the team and that is their striker in Dolbog. Not a bad striker. Not a bad and what a decent sign that is for them as well. Not a bad little striker. But let's see how we do on the highlights. Come on. So here we go then in a night game. I think this is the first game in night in match day three. Very tasty indeed. Night games are always lovely, especially in the Bernabeu. But hopefully this second team or third team, you could probably say, gets a result today against Almina at home. Hopefully they can. I think they will. Let's find out. Let's get into the island straight away. No messing around. Come on. So here we go then. Us in the white and Alameda in the kind of black and bluish stripes. So we've got our first chance here. And it looks like if it hurries up. Jesus, this is taking long, isn't it? It looks like Cabela's on the ball here. Not the most opening chance, but we're going to take it. We're going to try and take advantage of it. Chief Benham. There's our wing there. Can we get the LBY here? We can. We're going to try and go out wide here. And it just falls a bit flat there to many. We're going to get a free kick opportunity here. Right outside the box in the 17th minute. I don't know who's got the best free kicks in this team as we're very new to this team here. Rodrigo is on it. We haven't got many, have we? That's the problem. I think Rodrigo, yeah, Rodrigo is our best shot. We can Rodrigo here, the young Brazilian, make it 1 0. We've got to go for that there. That looks quite promising. It does get blocked indeed. Fair enough. Unlucky again, another chance. So straight away in the 34th minute here. Can we make it 3-3 three three in this episode? It looks like we can. It's quite promising. We're going to get it into the box here. We're going to get it. Cambellos because he lays it down. Camavinga on the long shot here. And it goes spying over into the crowd there. Camavinga on the corner now. Though the 45th minute here. Pretty much approaching. Can we get one before the break? Swings into the box here. Goes to Vinicius. That's the last player one. Goes to Rodrigo on the edge of the box. Rodrigo! That's a good shot. Go. It's still alive though. Van de Ven. Unlucky indeed. And so for some reason, Van der Ven is in the attack in the 51st minute. A lot of whistles from the home fans and the away fans. Can Van der Ven here get a... There's a Van der Ven's last side. We look exactly the same. Rodrigo! And he's put it wide. Very annoying indeed. I must... I do apologise. Van der Ven and the Latvia look very... Very similar. Rodrigo. Oh, I tell you what. That's a good play. Goldberg on the ball here now. Underestimate the opponent's team. 
It's a lovely play from them. Can't get the ball off here. They've got to find a gap. And Lewin makes a good hit the backup keeper. We're finally going to get a clear cut chance here in the 85th minute near the end of the game. We might be ratted. We might try and sweaty this up. We're going to call for Vinicius just to come. You know exactly what I'm going to do here. Let's secure the win here. Hopefully, Vinicius, he showboats. And that is going to be game. The vice captain in Vinicius Jr. makes it 1 0. There's his iconic celebration. We have secured the W here today. I'm pretty confident that is going to be the last one of the game. We're going to be wrapped. And there it is. I will stand corrected right there. 1 0 to Almina at home. I expected more goals, and again, it hasn't still changed. I don't know, maybe it's bugged with Big Barry's outfit here today. But what a way to start off, really, our campaign at Real Madrid with three games, three results. We didn't expect nothing less. Four attempts for Vinny and only one goal. Yeah, a bit worrying that. A man of his calibre, I swear he can bank back. I'm pretty confident. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Just the only one goal against a very weak side, but we'll take it. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode here today. Just going to show you the team here, just to show you if there's any more suggestions you might want to throw my way right here, as it is the transfer deadline day. But, yeah, well, I mean, what can I say from this episode today? I mean, Mbappe, Vinicius taking the show by storm, but both of them pretty much getting like three or four goals already in this Real Madrid career mode. Unbelievable scenes right there. We're top of the league. What more can you ask for there? It's just glitched there. We've got to get through the 10 hours and then it will update with the Almina. Scores were very nice indeed. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you have got more suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.